Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for joining me again. A warm welcome from our community to all the new visitors. Today we have again an interesting order of the cards drawn. But before I go deeper into it, as always, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Now let's get started, shall we? The Tarot Card of Light is Five of Swords. This card serves as a reminder to consider the feelings and positions of others, and to question if standing your ground on certain issues is worth the potential relational fallout. There may be a sense of unease about the way you have won certain battles, perhaps questioning whether the end justifies the means. In this circumstance, it is important to apply the positive aspects of the number five, which symbolizes adaptability and learning from past actions. Take stock of your current situation and see your experience as a valuable lesson about when to assert yourself and when it might be wiser to seek peace and compromise. Watch out for times when you might be driven by ego rather than practicality or kindness. Take a step back and assess whether the conflict you are engaged in is beneficial in the long run or if it is draining your energy and creating tensions. Considering this is the card from the light, it encourages you to look for the silver lining within the conflict. Strive for resolutions that do not leave you or others feeling defeated, but aim for understanding leading to greater wisdom and inner growth. The Tarot card of Shadow is Four of Swords. This card mirrors that you feel pushed into solitude, and yes, the message for you is about the necessity of this downtime, since you need to recuperate from a period of past conflicts or stressful situations. This introspection is essential for your well-being and to heal from previous challenges before moving forward. However, since this is the card from the shadow, it also warns of letting this time of recovery turn into stagnation. There is a risk of becoming too comfortable in your solitude which can lead to avoidance of necessary reflection and progress. The negative aspect of the number four, the feeling of being stuck or the fear of change, might be looming over you, preventing you from taking the steps needed to reintegrate into the regular swing of life. Watch out for signs that you are using this period as an escape rather than a healing process. Use this time to gather your thoughts and heal but also prepare for the time when you will re-engage with life with a clearer mind and a stronger sense of purpose. The universe is sending you a complex but coherent message through the energy of these two cards. It appears that you are navigating a chapter where you have faced and perhaps overcome significant conflicts. However, you are questioning the strategy you have chosen. Your angels remind you that your journey here on Earth is one of learning and experiencing. And with that can come decisions you might feel were wrong, harsh, or even put others in a disadvantage. We all make mistakes or take the wrong turn, but as long as you take responsibility, be honest in your attempt to correct what is necessary, or even acknowledge that at a certain time, there was no other choice. You have learned your lesson. You need to pause and rest, but not hide. Trust your intuition and listen to your angels. Be honest and open and learn to understand that these two messages do not oppose, but rather complement each other as one emphasizes the importance of understanding the cost of conflict and the other highlights the potential risks of shying away from taking responsibility for yourself and the consequences of your actions. Thank you for listening to today's complex and bold angel message. And if you liked the video and want to come back here, please subscribe to the channel. Believe in your strength to face the darker sides of life, be it in yourself or in your environment. The universe is always at your side, and I will see you tomorrow, my friend.